आई एम डॉक्टर आनंद बेउर टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मेजरमेंट एंड कैलिब्रेशन प्रोसेस एंड डिफरसेस बिटवीन दैन द प्रोसेस ऑफ कैल मेजरमेंट इफ यू लुक एट फर्स्ट इट्स अ बेसिकली प्रोसेस ऑफ असाइनमेंट ऑफ नंबर्स टू कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट और इवेंट एक्चुअली इट कुड बी सिंपली एक्सप्लेन एज कंपेरिंग नोन विद द अनोन एंड लेट इज क्वान्टिफाइड so uh, if you look at its scope and the application it's totally depending upon the context and discipline let's take an example in case of a quantum physics a measurement is an action that determines a particular property for example measurement of a position measurement of a momentum measurement of a energy etc in case of a information technology information theory rather this is the data which is actually statistical in nature a set of observations that reduces uncertainty where the results can be expressed as a quantity now these are seven basic physical quantities which are helping us to complete the measurement process now the applications if you look at very simple applications in day to day life i am considering here a measurement of a healthcare related issues for example measurement of body temperature with clinical thermometer checking of blood pressure and many other tests with measuring instruments and checking of the time of the day is again measurement example purchase of vegetable we need to do measurement billing of a power again it's a very good example of a measurement so you know if you look at the application of measurement broadly can be categorized in four basic categories for example the application for only collection of a data just to understand the status what is happening the second application could be analysis and collection of a data just to understand the effect so we uh, in day to day life we uh, maybe change one parameter by keeping other parameter constant and analyze the effect then monitor the changes in the data again with the objective to control the parameters and at the end after understanding all uh, these levels the last level of application could be maintain modify upgrade and a redesigning of a system this is very important and very broad uh, scope of the application of process of measurement actually these uh, applications of measurement process demands accuracy and reliability of the instrument that we use so the instrument should perform the required level of performance and for that purpose we need to analyze the status of instrument and that can be done with another process called as calibration process what this calibration is it is the comparison of instrument performance under consideration under evaluation with the known standard of known accuracy according to iso the calibration is quantitative determination of errors of measuring instrument under consideration adjusting it to minimum in other words it has explained that calibration means to find out whether the instrument is giving correct readings or not it also includes minor adjustments to the so its application of calibration process we could conclude with the definition what we just gone through could be determination of accuracy of the measured data with the help of instrument the second which is very very important we can also conclude for the traceability of the measurement process using the instrument under consideration under use so this calibration process ensures the measuring instrument display an accurate and reliable reading right the calibration is a essential activity of measurement process now there is one important uh, relationship that we should also understand when we go from simple measurement process to calibration process the requirement of accuracy as far as the standard uh, accuracy to the accuracy of the instrument under evaluation is n as to 1 so the standard what we are referring as a standard for calibration process must be 10 times accurate than the instrument under consideration it should be out with higher resolution as said here with the ratio now the again in detail if you see the application of this calibration process which helps us to understand whether the instrument under 
consideration or instrument that we use for measure on purpose is exactly in which stage whether it is active that we can directly make use for measurement or we need to again do some calibration that means the adjustments are needed before the use of that instrument or the instrument cannot measure it only indicates whether it is falling within the range whether any rework required to be done or we cannot do any other activity we need to directly reject or at the end we need to write off so all these uh, decisions that we can make using the calibration process this is one of the very um, uh, specific example of application of calibration process that we have seen uh, in short with this discussion that we could conclude as measurement is a part of a calibration if we compare measurement and calibration we can say that measurement is a part of calibration the processes for measurement not necessarily the same as that of the process set for calibration and also the objectives for measurement and calibration may be different so with this i would like to conclude here thank you